Hey the kids, it's me, Mr. Creepypasta. You know that I usually come to talk to you guys before a video whenever there's something important I need to point out, either about the video or, um, you know, generally we have a sponsor. And today, it just so happens to be one of those days that we have a sponsor. So for the next couple of minutes, I'm just going to be talking about one of my favorite sponsors <laughs> because they keep coming back and they keep wanting to be on the MCP channel and podcast. Raid Shadow Legends is once again our sponsor for today. And I'm sure that all of you guys have heard it by now, at least on the other parts of this series or on any one of the uh, previous sponsor videos that they've done. But let me tell you why, in terms of gameplay, it's the deepest and most complex mobile game around, with 500 champions to collect, each with their own skill tree and millions of artifacts to find and equip. No two champions will ever be the same. That makes for literally trillions of ways to build your teams, crazy deep and endless strategies to figure out. Personally, this is like a great thing for me because I play on PC as opposed to playing on mobile. Um, but I have this kind of running in the background a lot of the times, or whenever I'm editing either for audiobooks or editing videos. When I'm editing either for audiobooks or putting together other audio for the channel that you see here, I have uh, Raid running in the back just to kind of train the heroes that are going on. And also because I really enjoy the uh, feel whenever you're opening up one of those shards for any champion. One of the main things I always keep my boys going through, and that's going to be the boss dungeons. And that's what you see going on in the background right now. The boss dungeons also have like big rewards that help you give buffs and skip a lot of the grindy grind that you usually get with a lot of these kind of mobile games. So I feel like that's a huge leg up from Raid Shadow Legends is that you can skip over a lot of the grind or you can't go through it if you enjoy the visuals. They just added champion fragments, which lets you collect pieces of champions that you can use to summon specific awesome champions. There's also this brand new bazaar where you can load up on high value items with gold bars that you win at the tag arena. And they just extended the daily login rewards to up to 270 days with free champions available just for logging in. Crazy month for updates. So there's never been a better time to start. Great Shadow Legends is free to play and you can download it in the link in the description down below. And if you go down there and click on that special link and you're a brand new player, you'll get 100,000 silver plus one free champion, which is the Death Chanter which I always love they give us these like really spooky looking heroes if you're brand new and it's only gonna be available for the next 30 days. So all your treasure will be available for you right there. You see the little hand touching the box in the top right corner. So good luck. I'm Mr. Creepy Pafaita because my name is taken and I run the Mr. Creepy Pasta Boys clan. So if you wanna be able to join my clan, then I will see you in there. And on to tonight's story. Today's story will take us back to 2018, when we had our international meeting, which is taking place every five years. Now, by now, I was used with all of the weird stuff going on inside of our temple, and of course, outside of it, where the secrets of the world lay dormant for normal people, but not for us, not for the Freemasons. Our meeting two years ago took place in a very beautiful hotel in Prague, in the Czech Republic. This is one of those that are filled with history, where the walls and chandeliers have seen extravagant parties taking place, and people in really expensive clothing attending and drinking the finest and the rarest of drinks. I've met a lot of powerful Freemasons at the banquet, people very well known in the world, some of them running multi-million dollar companies. I have learned a lot of things they do research on, things I can't imagine existed. Of course, I was left in awe with the topics of certain discussion at that party. I was accompanied by my mentor, the professor, who decided in 2014, as you well know, to show me the wonders of the world. Too bad that we have different views on what that means. Usually at banquets like these, nothing out of the ordinary really happens. It's mainly just a bunch of people in black suits talking about various scientific topics, improvements in certain industries or the evolution of technology, those that are coming in the coming years. But at the end of the party, my mentor took me outside to the hotel to have a talk. Son, let's go out for a bit. Something I need to tell you. Of course, Professor. Son, tomorrow at midnight, there's a place where we'll go from our launch. And it's just the two of us and the master. There'll be some very powerful and influential people at this meeting. What is it this time, Professor? Vampires? Czech monsters? The dark god of Czech beer? <laughs> what? Very funny, he said. No. We will have this meeting in the church, 200 kilometers from Prague, in the village of Lukova, 
and as I understand from one of our brothers that flew in from the United Kingdom, this church is a bit different from the rest of the churches in this country. Why, I do not know. I guess we'll see you tomorrow night what's going to happen. Okay, Professor. I understand. I won't ask any more questions. Sometimes I like to inquire a lot about things, because I'm a very curious person, as you know. Be careful, son. Curiosity killed the cat. Yeah, but satisfaction brought it back, Professor. The party ended, and we went to sleep. We woke up the next day and went for a walk in the beautiful city of Prague. By the way, reader, I have to tell you that the Czech have, without a single shade of doubt, the best beer in Europe. We went to see the St. Vitus Cathedral, the Charles Bridge, the Astronomical Clock, the Kingsky Palace, the Prague Castle, and the Old Town Square. These were the wonders of the world for me. Well, of course, we got to see the hidden parts of each and every location. Parts of the public was not allowed to see, because, of course, that's how things are supposed to be, in the opinion of the Freemasons. Then we went back to the hotel, changed into our usual black suits, black tie, took our aprons and gloves, and we went outside to the hotel at about 9 p.m. to meet our driver who would take us to the church. We got there around 11.30 p.m. That left us with 30 minutes of free time in which a brother from the Czech Republic told us the story of the church. The St. George Church was built in 1352, but in 1968, the roof collapsed during a funeral so it was very much abandoned up until an artist decided to make things more interesting in 2014, adding moldings of people on top of which he placed some sheets to make them look like ghosts praying. Brother Heineck went on. Dear brothers, let's go inside. But before that, there is a table here at the entrance. Please, each and every one of you, take one of these metal blocks and keep it with you until the meeting is finished. Welcome to the Church of Ghosts. The Master... The professor and I looked at each other, wondering what these were for. We proceeded on taking the metals, which we weighed roughly 50 grams each. They were, of course, triangle-shaped. We went inside, and we were a little startled by the silhouette standing next to the darkness. Then our Czech brothers rapidly lit some candles, and we got to sit down next to the figures. I was a bit uneasy at first, because I didn't really like being alone in a church at night, even more when the church is old and creepy and filled with moldings that resembled people. The master of the Prague Lodge started. Dear brothers, welcome to one of the most exquisite meeting places for people like us. I hope you all have a great time at the party yesterday and they got to see our beautiful capital city. So please, place each of your medals in the lap of the molding next to you and leave it there until we finish this meeting. And then, of course, we started having speeches. After half an hour or so after midnight, all the candles went out and a cold wind started to blow through the church. The floor was creaking, and a very thick fog started raising from under it. And then, I felt something moving beside me. I turned, and at my right side, the head of the ghost was turned towards me. Staring at me with its non-existent eyes, I screamed, and then a voice from out of time began. Brothers, dear brothers, do not be afraid. We come in peace. We are the Freemasons of the Grand Lodge from beyond time. We have been here for many, many years, silently watching you to see if you are doing your jobs properly. And we could not be prouder than we are right now. Greetings to everyone who came from different parts of the world. We are very happy that you are with us tonight. And then another one started. Brothers, you will experience something tonight that you have never experienced before. Place your hands on our foreheads and let us take you to a journey of magic throughout time. Thing is, the voices were speaking in the Czech language, a, le a language I know nothing about, but curiously enough, I was understanding it perfectly at that certain point in time. I placed my hand on the ghost's forehead. At that point, I felt like I was enlightened, filled with secret knowledge. With my eyes closed, I could see through different historical periods. I was in a forest where strange animals were living, 
And then I was transported undersea to see populations of humanoids living free. Their technological advancements not like anything I'd ever seen before. I've seen kings and queens, empires falling, kingdoms of long-forgotten dead gods, ruins of cities in the sky, strange civilizations visiting our planet. And then everything stopped and a man in a white hood on his head, a large staff in his hand and a gray beard, stood in front of me in a tent in the desert. Hello, traveler. Give me a hand. I did so, without even questioning him. And then he took a very strange object. It was like a red-hot stone, almost like a coal, but not quite, and placed it in my hand. I squeezed it, and when I opened my hand, all that was left was a red light floating around my palm. I looked at him with big, inquiring eyes, and then he took out from a bag in his pocket a very odd powder. Then he placed the powder inside the red floating light, it with a scepter, smashed it, yelling, Try a prima! And a large explosion took place. It knocked me over, but it didn't hurt me. I awakened some minutes, at least for me, later in the church, with my hand extended. In my hand, there was the metal block. But its color had changed. It was golden. Of course, I could not believe my eyes. My mind was already buzzing with all that I had seen in my short journey. Brothers, this is our gift to you. Please be careful on your future journey and take this gold home with you as a way to always remember your experience here tonight. So long, dear brothers. I checked my watch and it said 6.30 a.m. I looked at the gold triangle. On it was a representation of the exact same ball of light that I held in the palm of my hand. The sun came up in the sky. Everything was back to normal. We went back to Prague, none of us saying anything for the next few hours. We just sat frozen and bewildered, with magical gold in our hands. Not only the wonders of the world, but the riches of the world. Hey there kids, it's me, Mr. Creepypasta, and I just wanted to tell you thank you so much for watching tonight's video. Or listening to tonight's podcast on the podcast, if you're listening to that there at Spotify or Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts or wherever you could happen to listen to podcasts. I wanted to remind you guys also that my wife sells loose leaf tea at etsy.com slash shop slash ivory monocle tea. She has different teas, including creepypasta teas, and you can get a Mr. Creepypasta tea. If you ask for a dabbing sticker, she also has those. And of course, I wanted to give a big thank you to everyone who checks out patreon.com slash mrcreepypasta and supports the show, keeps the light on, gives me treats for my now two cats, both Hylas and Hercules. Both of them are a handful. And especially a big thank you to Haha Saha, Jordan Alexander Sanchez, Mazakin, Ken Lando Higuchi, Chambinski, Nico Kao, Tristan Pelton, Stephen Van Hus, Chance Burnett, Diana Krause, G. Weevil 3, The Red Oak Shield Virus, Hades Nephew, Carter Barenfanger, Dr. Strawberry, Jordan Wayne Deckard, Radney Lipe, The Government Monitoring System, Anne Charon, Rumble Fox, Acid System, Mike Bullock, Rafael Rodriguez, Dan Sweet, Mad Marshdomp, Prozac and Pancake Appreciation Society, Sean Mills, Brian Arce, Cryptic Nightmares, Shadow Morningstar, Somber Puppet, Rihanna Wright, Someone You Love, Said the King 56, Bad Honey, S-Man, Kiri the Sloth, Patrick Schoolmeister, Thomas Burgett, Barbara Maceo, Bobby Carmen, Liam Newman, The Homeless Bird 93, Sky Harbor, Caleb Dougal, Last Blade Song, Eliminator 86, The Ginger Bros, Aaron Stormcrow, and Corey X Kenshin. A big thank you to all of you guys and everybody down there in the description. I really can't thank you guys enough for supporting the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And everybody who listens, sweet dreams.